you just saw was only a glimpse of the Assassin's Creed Symphony Tour starting on June 29th. Imagine an 80-piece live orchestra and choir playing the iconic themes from Assassin's Creed while you relive some of the most memorable moments from over a decade of Assassin's Creed in an immersive experience. Check out acsymphony.com to learn more. I mean, excellent music, great performances, goosebumps. If you like those things, I think those shows are going to be for you. But, of course, of course, there's one show that we all came here to see, the Ubisoft E3 conference, and it's just about to start here from the Orpheum Theater in Los Angeles. Now the house is packed, and to give you folks at home an idea of what that feels like, can I please hear the balcony people make some noise? Woo! Now, 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 if you, if you please, if you please, I'd like to do the same for the people sitting on the ground floor. Well, the excitement is here, folks. We hope you're feeling the same way there. From everyone at Ubisoft all around the world, please enjoy the show. London, greatest city in the world. Well, used to be. Now it's a right mess. Government's fucked off. Extremists are grabbing power. Organized crime slicing up the boroughs. The war dogs are out. And freedom's a bloody joke. But this ain't their London. This is our London. And there's a new power growing. It's all of us. Together, we're building a resistance, one recruit at a time. What's my favorite operative up to this evening? And no, I never say that to the others. Scouting talent, Bagley. So gob shut, eyes peeled, yeah? I have no eyes, and if I did, I wouldn't peel them. Bloody drones are everywhere, kicking our fucking teeth in lately. Then I recommend you recruit someone who can deal with drones. Brilliant. Never would have thought of that. Oi! You're clear. Sod off. All right, easy. I'm complying. Hmm. Impressive skill set. Sure, but we need a drone expert, Raj, not a shit kicker. File that one away for later. Engineering training, but he has several mischief charges for hijacking Albion drones. Hold still. Fuck you, man. You've got no right. Fuck you, hell. We find our drone expert and he's about to get himself nicked. Oh, dead set. Get out of here. Checkpoint. Oh, there's a checkpoint. Good. 
Lovely evening, isn't it? Ah, uh, I used to feed the birds here. Now they're all bloody machines. Get used to it. In the long march of progress, everything dies eventually. Eventually, even you, Bagley, I'm sure. Now, there's my Ellen. Speaking of death, you'll never guess what just happened to Ian. Oh, for God's sake, Bagley, a little respect. Then let's finish what he started. He was working on a new recruit, a drone expert. That's promising. What do we know about him? Albion scanned Jimmy just before Ian was killed. I should be able to predict his next move from that data. Unfortunately, his records are locked up tighter than your compression stockings. Are they now? But this case should be handled by the Met. I... Albion's even taken over Scotland Yard. Complicates matters. And there's my way in. Hello, darling. <laughs> They'll be on to me. Sleep tight. Yeah. The files you stole indicate that Jimmy's gone to Camden Market. Let's get someone over there, Bagley. Chop, chop. For some action, Naomi. Always. For this recruit, better be worth all the trouble. According to the Scotland Yard records, Jimmy's sister was killed by Clan Kelly. We believe he's seeking his revenge inside Camden Market. Camden Black Market, you mean? Yes. The Kellys are rumored to run all sorts of illicit goods out of the old stables. Some with fingers and toes. If he's gone in there alone, he's in big trouble. Kelly's have this place on full lockdown. Hmm, I have an idea. Today, everything's all fine and dandy. It's hard to We need to get the shit back in two fucking streets. And be So try not to get killed, or we'll be in the red for the day. Copy that. Huh? What the hell? Is this a meme? This better be a joke, or I'm stuck. <laughs> and fentanyl together at last through the miracle of genetics. The Kellys are moving loads of weapons out here. And not your typical back alley shanks. Stables. It's human trafficking. Found Jimmy. Cheeky shit. And here we thought he might be in some sort of trouble. So, um, how are you going to get him out of there? Lots of hugs and kisses. Sharper than you look. 
Jesus Christ! Come on, beat these dead set pricks! We showed those fucks, didn't we? We almost died out there tonight. Look, thanks for helping me, but I can handle myself. Right. You think you're better off alone. You think everyone else has given up and there's no one to trust. That's what they want you to think, and that's how they'll take us, one at a time. It doesn't have to be that way. Together, we can change things. Wait, what happened to that bloke who helped me? He didn't make it. Fuck it. Welcome to DeadSec, James. Yeah, okay, so... Where do I go to meet the rest of the crew? You don't need to go anywhere. Look around you. Everyone has a reason to fight, and DedSec is open to anyone. Anyone? Welcome to the Resistance. Thank you. Guess I'm going to make you all wait so long, I should really knock it out of the park, huh? <laughs> uh, I'm Clint Hawking. I'm the creative director of Watch Dogs Legion. And for the past few years, the team and I have had the privilege to work on a game and an innovation that we are very proud of. Watch Dogs Legion is set in London, one of the greatest cities in the world. And it's had a massive influence on all of our culture for centuries. Today, with Brexit, London's at a turning point. It's hard to predict what the future holds for London, for the UK, or for the world. But history has proven time and again that where London goes, all of us go together. In our near future, London is facing her downfall. The UK has become a surveillance state and freedom has been replaced with fear. Armed drones patrol the streets, deportation squads rip people from their homes, and granddad is using crypto to buy a new kidney on the black market. But Londoners never surrender. Their resilience and determination is an inspiration to us all, and they are the heroes of our game. All of them. In Watch Dogs Legion, your mission is to build a popular resistance to fight back against the emergence of an authoritarian regime. This means you don't just play as one hero, but many. And in Watch Dogs Legion, you can recruit and play as anyone. <laughs> in our game, Every Londoner is fully simulated with a persistent life and relationships and anyone from the entire population can be recruited into your team. Find them, profile them, hack into their lives, play their origin mission and win them over to your cause. 
The heroes you recruit are all unique characters with different backstories and personalities, fully voiced and animated, and they are the stars of your story. Every cinematic in the game will change depending on whether you're playing a former MI5 action hero, a 70-year-old granny you saw feeding pigeons in the park, or anyone in between. However you want to play, whoever you want to be, Watch Dogs Legion lets you be that. You want to make a team of classic British spies? No problem. You want to be a crew of street-savvy kids from the council block? Do it. You want to go hipster, body mod, Afro-punk, gangsta? Awesome. <laughs> the women of Bletchley Park? These ladies fucking invented hacking! <laughs> Play as anyone is the innovation that transforms a story about freeing London and the world from the grip of tyranny into a game about the heroes that live in each of us. Because being a hero isn't just a job for someone else anymore. It's a job for everyone. So on behalf of the Watch Dogs Legion's team here and around the world, I hope to see you on the booth. Thank you for your time, and welcome to the resistance. <laughs> Had a good run there for a while. Now it's all riots, bombings, and people thrown in cages like animals. Oh, I know you can forget the killer robots everywhere. So yeah, that's all gonna be shit. It's up to us to take our city back. Thing is, we can't do it alone. We need to recruit a resistance. I know what you're thinking. Where do we start? Open your eyes and take a look around. Look here. Look at him. No, not him. Him. Former MI5. Duty never ends. He can get anywhere and erase anyone. Let's kick those bastards out of London. She got kicked out of Oxbridge Robotic School for teaching him to uh, reproduce. <laughs> and that fellow over there? Proper Bellin. Come on, come at me. He'll crack your skull just for looking that funny. <laughs> this had better be. Fucking good. And allow me to introduce you to the deadliest of the law. She's not old, she's experienced. Like I said, you can recruit anyone, and I mean bloody anyone. Him, her, everyone is a secret weapon. Find them, recruit them, build the resistance. Let's unfuck this world. My name is Rob McElhenney, and for the past 14 years, I have been making a television show called It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Thank you. But I am here today because I love games, and I wanted to express that love in the only way that I know how, save for playing them, and that is to make a TV show about them. More importantly, the people who create those games and the people who play them. So last year, I called the funniest people that I knew, 
Charlie Day, Megan Gans, and David Hornsby, all executive producers on Sunny, and we started talking. We realized very early on that if we were going to do this, we wanted to do it right and to be as authentic as possible because, as you all know, nobody smells bullshit like this particular community. <laughs> So we did the right thing, we partnered with Ubisoft, and away we went. It has been an incredible experience working with one of the biggest and best game developers in the world to inspire us, because our show takes place in the fictional studio that created the biggest MMORPG in the world, Mythic Quest. And we meet them on the cusp of releasing their biggest expansion yet, Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet. The show follows the team of devs as they navigate the challenges of running their game while dealing with the difficulties of modern office life. These people are truly stuck together, yet they grind it out day after day for the love of the game. And at the head of that team is my character, creative director, Ian Grimm. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like most creative directors, he's gifted, driven, and tirelessly dedicated to his game. And like most of the creative directors that I've met, he has an ego the size of a city bus. <laughs> I'm going to get my ass kicked backstage because there's a lot of creative directors here. <laughs> Joking aside, it is clear that those creative directors and the thousands of people who work on these games put everything that they can into them. They recognize that they have a tremendous opportunity and responsibility, that they must do everything in their power to ensure that the games are nothing short of the best that they can make, because that is what the community, you, deserve. I promise you that in making this show, we took the same approach. So without further ado, here is a brief look into our upcoming TV series for Apple TV Plus, Mythic Quest, Raven's Banquet. What is Mythic Quest? Some may say it's just a video game. When it first debuted, MQ was hailed as a masterpiece. Now played in 20 different countries on six continents, it's the biggest massive multiplayer role-playing game of all time. And today, they find themselves on the precipice of their first major expansion, Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet. And it all falls on the shoulders of one man, creative director Ian Grimm. When we think about cultural touchstones, we think E.T., Star Wars, Avatar, and yet our industry dwarfs the traditional entertainment business. So when we think about legends, why not think Mythic Quest? True indeed. And when we think of visionary world-building artists, instead of just Spielberg, Lucas, and Cameron, why not think Grimm? I I'm sorry, I, I gotta stop. What is this? It's a commercial for the game. It's a commercial for you. It's still going. Shh, 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 shh. I think it's brilliant. Hey there, my name is Parker Intero Mackay, esportscaster for Rainbow Six Siege. There are so many exciting things to come in year four. In-game events, map reworks, playlist updates, a roster of 52 unique operators, and of course, a thriving esports scene. Starting tomorrow, you'll be able to enjoy our 13th season, Operation Phantom Sight. This major content update brings two new operators to Team Rainbow, Nook, and Warden. After this show, be sure to stick around for an intense celebrity match starring T-Pain, Little Yachty, and some of your favorite Twitch streamers for the Twitch Rivals Celebrity Show Match. But right now, here's a glimpse of the new season in action. Thank you, everyone, and have a great E3.
That's what you get when you take on the Brawl Hall of Master. These things are whack! 1v1 me, bro! For real! Uh, yeah. I'll toast your buns again, sure. Wanna choose a different character? Yeah! I choose me! <laughs> Whoa! It's those guys from the game! What time is it? Adventure time! <laughs> Bob that bacon hammer! All I do is win! <laughs> Got him! Go for it, PB! Uh-huh, Princess Bubblegum did a show! Says everything. Ha! Did somebody order the combo? Yeah! Woo! Mathematical! 25 million players! Dude, that's almost 25 and a half million. Oh snap! Look out! Bacon pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Ralala? Ralala? No, man! Brawlhalla! Oh! Hey, welcome to Brawlhalla! This game is. Test of a man's worth is battle. When those rounds come screaming past your head, you're gonna learn if you're hungry enough, hungry enough to take that victory. We're going to battle with the soldiers that we used to be. Ghosts. And you better believe that they are hungry too. Once upon a time, some of these ghosts, they may have been your friends. And there is brotherhood. But then there is what the world needs. These ghosts, they are the past. They still serve the machine that we left behind. And right now, for the future, the world needs us. I'm honored. I'm honored to be here with you tonight. And as you head into battle, with that mean look in your eye, those bad intentions in your mind, remember this. You are the few with the courage to make history. You have the desire to take victory. You will be on a battlefield full of ghosts, but only you have that hunger. That hunger that makes 
makes you wolves. everybody. Hey, I'm John. Good to be here. This is Bam Bam the Dog. Thank you for having me. Thank you. It's a real honor to be here with you guys today. Thank you. I love you too. Right on. This is awesome. This has been really great and exciting, and uh, I'm, really, I'm really honored to be here. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm enormously proud to be part of the development of this game. It was a pleasure to work with the Ubisoft team. You know, I've had uh, the chance to play some pretty strong, tough men over the years. I've uh, played a deputy fighting zombies, special, f <laughs> special forces soldier who lost everything. And now I get to play Cole D. Walker. He's a skilled former special operations soldier with his own sense of responsibility and his own moral code. He knows how things should be run. He loves his brothers, his fellow soldiers, but he is willing to do whatever it takes to complete his mission and take control of Aroa. There is no briefing. There's no backup. You will not face a group of bad guys or a criminal organization. You will face an entire army, my army, the wolves. We've got the numbers. We've got the organization. And remember, we trained alongside you weaponry of a fully operational special ops detachment. Trust me, there's an unparalleled arsenal of high-tech weapons in Aroa. So if you think you have what it takes, strap on your boots and you get ready to take on the wolves. Take on me. See you in Aroa. We'll be waiting. Perfect predators. They have the knowledge of their hunting ground, but we have the element of surprise. They have the technology, but we have the skills to even the odds. and sisters. They are hungry, but we are enraged. We are ghosts. And ghosts never die. everyone. <laughs> Being a community developer on Ghost Recon Wildlands and Breakpoint has been an incredible journey for me so far. When we first announced the game, you were very excited. And after discussions of members of our community, I today announce that with our post-launch plan, we will be bringing back our AI teammates for our solo players. <laughs> With Ghost Recon Breakpoint, we want to go the extra mile with how we engage with you. So I'm pleased to announce a brand new community program that will allow you to express and share your passion. Welcome to Ghost Recon Delta Company. <laughs> Thank you. 
from cosplay to streaming, fan art to forum discussions. However you show your love for Ghost Recon, there is something for you in our five different detachments. With lots of content to support you, as well as direct discussions with our studio. So head over to our Ghost Recon Breakpoint website to find out more and hear from you soon, Delta Ghosts. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Laura. Hello, everyone. <laughs> the Ghost Recon team has always taken great pride from your passion for our games. And that passion is what pushes us to deliver the best Spec Ops experience out there. Behind enemy lines, you will be fighting the most dangerous enemies the Ghosts have ever faced constantly testing your survival skills. Yes, we can't wait to welcome you in Ghost Recon Brockpoint on October 4th. And one month before that, our beta will be live on September 5th. You can register on our website right now for a chance to participate. Ghost Recon Breakpoint will be live for years to come. We've got your back. <laughs> New content, free updates, and many surprises inspired by our community. Yes, yes, like this one. Survive your breakpoint? <laughs> all right. See you all out there. Have a good one. and daring agent. She's all in, all out, always. Montaigne, counterterrorism and rescue veteran. His best offense is his defense. Nomad, covert special ops team leader, a ghost on the battlefield. skilled defending operator, lightly armed, massively effective. Sam Fisher, elite covert operative, the lone wolf now hunts with a pack. When chaos strikes, rally the specialists. Lead the elite. now. Ten years. Ten years. 
Well, that's a lot of dancing. We're exhausted. I know. But think of everything we've done. It's not for us, or for you, or you. It's for them, the players! We danced, and Sidio and his girlfriend got married. We danced, and our friend Jaden Rodriguez danced for millions, bringing together generations. That's right. We danced, and they set world records. Do you remember Carrie? Yes. Of course we do, because we were with her. Tonight. Yes, dance is why we exist. And I know we're going to have much more of these moments because dance is a force. It's transcendent. It unites and it shows us who we are. That's why just dance is more than just dance. Let's get out there and get ready for what's next. an old tale about this village. A samurai came to deliver justice. But darkness clouded her mind. She slaughtered every living soul. And became the spirit of death. Years later, we hunted the samurai in the village. We didn't believe the old tale. Not until... A horror came. Spirits hungered for our souls. So 
found him. Take him. I'll cover you. He's going into stasis. Contact. Head to the extraction point. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bio Jad, and I'm the lead game designer on the next Rainbow Six game. It's called Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Quarantine. I'm part of a new team in Ubisoft Montreal that set out on an exciting new mission. Create a radically redesigned co-op experience built on the foundations of one of the best shooters of this generation. What Siege is to the PvP shooter genre, we will be to PvE co-op. <laughs> Quarantine will test your tactical skills and survival instincts, holding you and your operators on the razor's edge. It pulls you together as a squad, facing off against an unknown and devastating parasite. You will risk everything every time you step into quarantine. Stay tuned and start prepping for your next deployment. I can't wait to show you more and have a great E3. As creative director at Red Storm Entertainment, there's no greater reward for me or the team than to see our game come to life and to see our players, our star players, taking tremendous pride in being a part of the division. Yeah. 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 Now, if you haven't had the opportunity to play The Division 2 yet, we would be thrilled to have you join our very passionate community because I'm happy to announce that this week only, between June 13th and June 16th, The Division 2 will be absolutely 100% free for everyone to play. Yeah. And there's no better time to join us as we're about to release the first of our major content updates for our year one journey. A journey beyond Washington, D.C. to save not just a city, but an entire nation. Thank you. Episode one, coming in July, right around the corner. We deliver to you new main missions and a brand new game experience. So for the first time, we're taking the fight outside the city, and you'll venture deep into the woodlands 
to spearhead an attack on a presidential compound as you seek to bring a traitor to justice. The National Zoo is the setting of our next mission, where you and your team will hunt down the surviving outcast leader. And this brings us to our final edition of episode one, a place called Kenley College, and it's home to an entirely new gameplay experience. One that will take exploration, investigation, and logic to uncover the fate of a military convoy gone dark. Now, episode two, coming this fall, we will bring to you the Pentagon. Once an impenetrable fortress, it has fallen to the Black Tusks, and its secrets are about to be thrown out into the open. You must do everything it takes to secure what lies behind the walls of this last castle. But this won't be the greatest danger you face in episode two. I'm very excited to tell you that our second raid will be coming this fall, bringing back intense eight-player action. Yeah! Watching you tackle the first raid was awesome, and we cannot wait to see what world records you break this time around. Now, this brings us to our third and final episode of year one. What if rebirth was not about bringing the world as we know it back to life, but the opposite? One man holds that power, and humanity itself is at stake. Agents, it's time to engage in a manhunt. It's the time of the season When love runs high In this time, give it to me easy Let me try with some pleasure we had the training. We fought to protect the weak. But training doesn't prepare you to hunt someone you used to call brother. He has left us no other choice. If we don't stop him, there will be nothing left to save. Holy shit, what about that? <laughs> Man. Woo. I can't wait for that. Okay, one last thing. As you might know, we have been working on a movie. It will be directed by David Leach, starring Jessica Chastain and Jake Gyllenhaal. Well, today, I'm proud to announce that we will be making the Division movie with Netflix. More to come on that in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Brenda Panagrosi, I'm Vice President of Platform and Product Management. Ubisoft has been creating worlds for over 30 years. We have the most diverse library of games, and we're about to make it even easier for you to play them. I'm here to announce Ubisoft's new subscription service on PC called Uplay Plus. You'll get earliest available access to new games, including the premium editions with all their additional content. And you can enjoy the depth of our PC catalog that includes over 100 games and growing. Yeah. Uplay Plus will be $14.99 a month. If you sign up today, will enable free access for you in September at launch. Let me know if you ready to get dollars holler, cause we wildin' out. If you want it ready, steady go. Fight the good fight because
because this is war. Wherever players are, we want to provide access to our games and services. I'm pleased to announce that in 2020, Uplay Plus will be available on Stadia. <laughs> Stadia is the new generation gaming platform where you could play our Stadia games from any device. Special thank you to Phil Harrison and his team. This is the beginning of our partnership. Thank you so much. Have fun playing. Future champions, my name is Stefan, and I'm a proud member of the Roller Champions team. All right, come on, bring it up. From the get-go, our ambitions with this game were very clear. We wanted to create something new. We wanted to capture the intangible excitement of players preparing for the big game, the hype of team play and competition, along with the craziness of high-speed racing. So we started working on Roller Champions, a skill-based team PvP sports game that is as fun to watch as it is to play. A game in which you, the player, can create your own story as you roll up to glory. But right now I know how it looks. We showed you a trailer, and I got on stage starting my little speech. That's all well and good. But when will you ever get to play this? How about today? <laughs> That's right. When we're done here, I want you to head over to Uplay on your PC to download a pre-alpha E3 demo of Roller Champions. Play the heck out of it for the next few days. And when you're done, head to the forums to tell us what you thought. And you know what? We firmly believe that you will be screaming as loudly as our colleagues did when they first got to playtest it back in Montreal. 
But I can't just leave you with that. So here's a taste of what you should expect once you click that download button. Put your skates on, see you in the arena. So first, I want to say thank you to <laughs> thank you. So first, I want to say thank you to all the Ubisoft teams around the world for your talent and energy. You know, congratulations for another great show. Thank you. So I believe. Video games have a positive impact on all of us and the world around us. At Ubisoft, our intention is to create games that will make you stronger and happier in your life. When you play Ubisoft games, we hope you will spend quality time with family and friends and meet new inspiring people. Learn more about yourself by doing and gain new perspective on the world and help shape it. So to everyone who plays our games, thank you for your love. <laughs> you push us to always do better and go further. So now, I'm very proud to announce a new project from an exceptional team in Quebec City. Please give a warm upload to Marc Alessi Coté, who is coming to show you a sneak peek of his game. Hey, Marc, thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Over the last 10 years, I've had the chance to be part of an incredible team that has always pushed the limits of Assassin's Creed and shown us different periods of our past. But our imagination has always been bound to the reality of the history books. These past four years, our minds have lingered on a different aspect of our history, mythology. The stories of the ancient gods and their misadventures have existed through generations of storytellers and audiences and have transformed into tales that we still know and love today. Now, these stories have shaped our dreams, inspiring us to build something new, something that transcends the limits that we have always set upon ourselves. Today, I am very proud to have the chance to show you a glimpse, to show you a teaser of this brand new game that we've been working on. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, and have a great E3.
gods need help, they turn to you.